Look at that. Look at that. It is so, so good. Juicy, flaky. Keep watching. Hello guys, it's your girl Claudia and welcome back to my kitchen cooking with Claudia. On today's menu, we are going to be making some red snapper with seven kinds of herbs and garlic. Imagine that on a single fish. Well, if you're new here, a very big welcome to you. Take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and trust me, you're going to be in for the best. So I will be taking you guys to my garden to show you guys the herbs I will be harvesting. Right here, I have some basil tarragon oregano fresh thyme rosemary and we have some parsley curly and curly parsley and the flat parsley and i will be using some cilantro right there so we have all the herbs here everything has been perfectly washed we're just going to go ahead to process it with our processor at this point you don't want it to be 100 percent smooth okay you want it to be a little bit coarse so it's going to have a beautiful texture so now i'm just transferring the herbs inside my processor if you love this processor i will be dropping the link for you guys in the description box and trust me you can get it from there on amazon so for the rest of the ingredients here, I love garlic, fresh garlic. So guys, if you are not really a lover of garlic, you can reduce the garlic or maybe use powdered garlic if you don't want that harsh garlic taste in your fish. So I will be adding some ginger, onions, of course you need onions, right? onion so guys for the rest of the powder ingredients right here i have some seasoning powder to be precise as a no seasoning chili flakes i love spicy food salt black pepper and some cumin that's all you need if you want to add some other ingredients you can go ahead according to your own preference and right now i will be adding some olive oil if you don't have olive oil you can go ahead and use any cooking oil of your choice and i'm just gonna close my processor process everything until it is well 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 processed to the texture i want and this is how it's looking after processed guys right now the flavor is heavenly it is heavenly oh my goodness we have our beautiful guy here my beautiful baby the red snapper so looking good looking oh my goodness guys if you are like if you're a fan of my fish recipes you all know that i love red snapper it's one of my favorite fish right so i'm just taking off the fins then i will start by scoring the fish then next we'll go ahead and marinate the fish perfectly So I saved a little bit of thyme and parsley, which I will put in inside the belly of the fish just to emit that beautiful flavor in there. So now everything has been marinated properly. The next thing I will be doing is to cover and let it sit in my refrigerator for at least 30 minutes to one hour. The longer it marinates, the better. And after that time, we're just going to go ahead and grill. So the option in your oven is going to be either grill or broil 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 minutes each side for the remaining marinade i will add a little bit of water and oil and cook on medium heat if you don't have a microwave because i will be using a microwave 
uh microwave i will just cook this for about five minutes but if you're using like the medium heat maybe a stove top or a cooker you can cook for about two to three minutes okay so guys for my previous video whenever i make my onion for the side for my fish they always ask oh how do you make that side and i reply in the comment section so i decided to show you guys how i do my onion side for my grilled fish i just like some onion and some curly parsley mix that perfectly next thing i will be adding into it is some red wine vinegar just to bring that a little bit of sourish taste in the fish so if you don't have red white vinegar go ahead and use maybe a teaspoon of white vinegar that's just the normal vinegar regular vinegar all right so for that cooked marinade it is looking so good oh my god the flavor is amazing guys you can save some of this marinade to use for potatoes chicken whatsoever all right so after 10 minutes the first side of our fish has been fully cooked so guys one thing you have to note is red snapper tends to dry off really fast because it does not really have fat in its, in its body to keep that moisture so i always advise to bast with your remaining marinade from time to time so i just apply the marinade now on the other side it's going to go back to the oven again 400 degrees fahrenheit for another 10 minutes and after that it's looking so good fully cooked 100 percent cooked i'm just gonna apply a little bit of marinade on it again and it is so so heavenly it is flavorful guys you need to be in my house now just imagine all those herbs guys seven types of herbs on a single fish what is that called magic so guys i'm just gonna serve right now you can use the remaining marinade as a dip if you have pepper sauce you can go ahead and dip it with the fish look at that so guys you guys know whenever i'm in my fish i will always like to like cut through and show you guys how it has been cooked so my fish is here when your fork goes in like smoothly it means your fish has been fully cooked look at that juice from it oh lordy so so flaky white in the inside you name it so guys if you get to try this recipe don't hesitate let me know how it turned out and if you have any questions and i'm any questions i'm gonna reply asap all right look at that look at that guys i love fish i have one of my subscriber uh his name is dale he always talks about my fish and advising me on going on the pescatarian journey i'm thinking of going my god but i come it's so difficult i cannot seem to forget eating beef chicken you know what i mean so guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i appreciate the love i appreciate the comments everything you guys so to meet again in my next video bye for now and keep trusting my recipes